Affairs. Republican Senator John Barrasso, incoming chairman of the Senate Republican Conference. Great to see you today and Merry Christmas. And to you. Uh, Thank you, Harris. I, I don't know if you heard what Senator Schumer just said, but mm -hmm. yeah. uh, he said that Republicans have an allergy to sensible immigration policies. What is he talking about and, and how does this start us off in 2019? <laughs> Well, you know, I'm, we have funded 75 percent of the government already for the next year. So at most, we were looking at a partial kicking of the can and a partial government shutdown. But I think it's always a bad idea to shut down the government. And Senator Schumer earlier this year shut down the government mm -hmm. over the issue of illegal immigration. So this could have been a Schumer 2.0 shutdown. What we need to do is fund government in a responsible way. I agree with President Trump. I agree with his goals for the border. Border security is national security, and I believe he will find the funds to do exactly what he has promised to do. Senator Barrasso, in 2006, and then, you know, just several years later under Barack Obama as president, we saw uh, a situation where legislation was put into place, funds were allocated and spent on building a wall system, which is really reinforced fence line, they call it a wall, and then now we can't get bar bipartisanship on any of it. Why not? Well, the Democrats have taken a hard turn to the left in terms of the philosophy of their party. And you see that with so many of the Democrats, some running for president, who are claiming to want to eliminate ICE, immigration and customs enforcement. At the same time, we have 100 people a day uh, in the United States dying of overdoses of, uh, of opioids. I mean, you have 50,000 people, I guess it's over 100 a, a week, 50,000 a year dying of opioid overdoses horrible effect and it's because of the cartels and the number of uh, the, the fentanyl and the heroin coming in from Mexico, the Mexican cartels. This is a time to actually increase our efforts at border security, not lessen them. Well, and it's interesting because, you know, you don't ever hear it talked about in this sense. It's creating our lack of firm policy or a policy that works, a humanitarian crisis on our southern border, children in the midst of it. Solving it should be everybody's desire, no matter what it takes politically. Well, I agree exactly what you're saying. Currently, the laws and the way they're enforced uh, and uh, the judge's rulings to cause those things uh, have actually created an incentive to bring more people to the United States to take this very risky journey. Uh, and then the fact that when people are are caught, they're sometimes released into the United States and released in a way that they're supposed to return to get a, a, a hearing and instead they never show up. And that to me is one of the greatest flaws of the system. We need to do a better job. The president is right. Uh, all right, I have to move on, but real quickly, is this a loss politically for the president if he doesn't stick everybody's feet to the fire and get funding for the wall? Real quick. Well, I think, no, I think the president is going to do exactly what he's promised to do. He's going to accomplish it. He's going to do it through a different measure, but he'll get it done. All right. President Trump is declaring victory in Syria today. U.S. officials are confirming to Fox News the White House is considering pulling all of the roughly 200,000 U.S. troops from there. The president tweeted this. Senator Barrasso, I'll read it. We have defeated ISIS in Syria. My only reason for being there during the Trump presidency, end quote. Uh, Senator Graham doesn't agree with this at all. I'll get to him in a second, but what do you say? Well, I think the president has done a remarkable jo job in defeating ISIS in Syria. We've had Wyoming National Guard there. I visited the troops when the, from their staging area last year for Thanksgiving. And I think the president has accomplished what he said he wanted to. We are not wanting to, of course, step back or give up ground. So there's a question of do you need to stay behind force or not? Of course, we always want to give uh, an opportunity to get our troops home as quickly as we can. At the same time, we want to make sure that the area is secure so ISIS doesn't bloom again as it was allowed under President Obama. President Trump mission accomplished in terms of eliminating ISIS. We're going to make sure that they continue to be gone right. in that area. I want to clarify. I uh, said I misspoke and said 200,000. It is 2,000. I want to make it very clear, U.S. troops. Here's Senator Lindsey Graham disagreeing with the president on whether ISIS has been stamped out. If we are withdrawing our forces from Syria, there's 2,200, pretty small footprint. Uh, I think ISIS is more likely to come back because I don't agree with the president that they're defeated in Syria and Iraq. They've been really hurt. The president's done a good job of being aggressive. Senator Barrasso, they are mutually exclusive. You cannot defeat and uh, not defeat. So do we have victory against ISIS or not in Syria? 
Yeah. Well, I believe we do against ISIS. My concern is Russian troops in the area, Iran in the area, giving another opportunity for some bad actors to fill the void that the United States is mm. currently filling. The president will make that decision. I've actually asked the Pentagon for a clarification of what the orders are. Yeah, this, the Pentagon reportedly was caught off guard by the White House saying that there was a victory claimed. I, I want to get your final thought on that. Well, that's why I've asked the, the, the Pentagon for clarification. Uh, the president has done what he's promised with regard to ISIS in Syria. And mm -hmm. when, look, when, Syria, when Assad used chemical weapons, in spite of what President Obama did with his red line, President Trump actually used U.S. military force against Syria. He has accomplished, I believe, what we have wanted to do from the beginning. Yes. I, I boarded that battleship that fired those tomahawks on July 4th. It was quite impressive to meet those men and women who mm -hmm. pulled that off after those chem weapons were used. Senator John Barrasso, Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. You. Thank you Thank for you. being on the program. Appreciate it. Thanks, Harris.